Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Tammy Lynn Burdrick, Pensacola, Florida. Promises are now in the time of fulfillment. If you have been standing on a promise from the Lord and have felt battle-weary, then this word is for you. The Lord has been showing me that many are worn out. Some were even giving up the good fight of faith because the promises have been under such contention. I say to you, do not give up. Stay strong. Do not lose your courage, for you are getting ready to reap the reward of your faith. 1 Timothy 1.18 It encourages us to keep the prophecies decreed over our lives and to use those prophecies of wep- as weapons to wage a warfare in the Spirit. You must continue to decree by faith those prophecies spoken over you. Those promises given to you by God for the time of establishment is now in fulfillment. A woman who gives birth has that one last push before her baby is born. I believe your final push has come, and you are about to see the fulfillment of that promise. That promise you have been waiting on is now in its time of fulfillment, says the Lord. The enemy wants you to wear out and back out of the race. Stay in faith. Galatians 6, 9 says, Let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we do not grow weary. I know how hope deferred can make the heart sick, but I also know that a promise fulfilled awakens the soul. I believe the Lord is getting ready to bring you an awakening that is going to change your life, your family, your marriage, and your ministry forever. This is your due season to reap from those tears you have sown. Daniel 7, 25 and 26 speaks of the enemy trying to wear the saints out to make alterations in time. We know the enemy had not had been given a little time according to scripture. We also know the time comes when judgment comes and the enemy loses. Daniel 7, 27 shows us the shift in the warfare and all power and dominion is given to the people of God. I hear the Lord saying to you today, the shift is here. I have decreed judgment, and that which you lost or was stolen from you, that promise I made you is being placed in your hands. No more contention over the promise. It is time for your victory to be, to be seen upon the earth and for you to testify. For a few weeks, the Lord has been showing me ashes from the wicked under the feet of his people. However, they are not just under their feet. God's people We're dancing on the ashes. We are getting ready to enter the Jewish year 5783 in September. 5783 is the year of Gemel. Gemel means a time of retribution, reward, justified repayment, recompense, vindication, and judgment. Can you perceive the season? Daniel 7.26 says, The court will sit for judgment, and Satan's dominion will be taken away and destroyed forever. Hear what the Lord is saying to you. The time of rewards for your faith and judgment against the wicked is here. Again, I ask, can you perceive the season? God is flipping the script on the enemy and making the wicked ashes under your feet to dance upon in victory with the joy of the Lord. Not only is the battle over, but that which was lost or stolen from you is getting placed back into your hand. You are getting ready to recover all, and God is going to reward the faith in you and your faith in him and repay you for all that has been robbed from you. The days of affliction are coming to an end. You are stepping into a new season. The attack on you, your home, your marriage, your children, your reputation, your health, your ministry, it's being overturned and placed under your feet as ashes to be danced upon. The Lord is going to bring vindication and he is going to restore all that was stolen, rebuild what the enemy tore down, and give you recompense. You were crushed by despair, but the Lord is acting on your behalf. Your mourning shall become praises. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord our God shall suddenly, swiftly act on your behalf and bring a crushing to the enemy, leaving only ashes under your feet. Get ready for dancing shoes. And get ready for Gimel. Get ready for vindication, for recompense, restoration, and more faith rewards. Hallelujah. See Second Chronicles 15.7, Romans 12.12, 12, 
Isaiah 66, 9, Proverbs 13, 12, Malachi 4, 2 through 3, Romans 16, 20, Joel 2, 25, to stand on these scriptures. Let's pray together. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for the timing, your timing, Lord. We thank you, God, that the promises are now coming into fulfillment. Lord, we don't want to look to someday, but we want them now, God. We thank you, God, for the promises of dancing over the ashes. We thank you, God, for the time of delay is passing. The time of unfulfilled promises, Lord, has not taken us out, but it has resolved our faith. faith. It has galvanized our faith. It has made us more passionate for you, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that we are coming into the time now. In Jesus' name, we thank you for this year, this upcoming Jewish year, Lord. As September approaches, God, we thank you for Gemel. We thank you for the time of retribution and reward, for justified repayment, God. The enemy has stolen from us. The enemy has delayed from us. God, you'll make it right. You'll be our reward. You'll be our vindication. We thank you, Lord, that we can come to you boldly and ask you, God, for what the enemy stole will be recovered and credited to our account In Jesus' mighty name, amen.